So we're here in lovely Bishop and the sun's going down. Our corporate host. That motel looks like it's seen better days. Kind of makes me feel bad for staying at the Holiday Inn Express. We could be staying there. Uh, there's all kinds of motels around here. I noticed that it's Monday evening and I noticed that there's a bunch of blue collar workers that are checking in. They look like they work for uh, either mining operations or freight or maybe drilling. Looks like everything kind of closes early. I was hoping to be able to get something to eat. That's not through a drive through Phone. 50 cents. There's a lot of backpackers that come through. Well, I don't know about here specifically, but that come through the area. So you will see pay phones out in the middle of nowhere. I guess this is what would be downtown Bishop. Some empty storefronts. Kind of looks like the theater is still active. There we go, that's how I'm used to seeing payphones. It's always a little bit of a shame when small towns like this, they have all of this vacant storefront space and it's like, it's like they're, too bad there's something they can't put the spaces to use. There's a bar. No, oh, no, I think I'd get kicked out and ostracized for going in there with my dogs. All right, let's go.
bookstore, a fish market, animal hospital, brewery, it's a, it's a church. Ooh, what's this? Darn it, what a shame. Appears to be a, a bus June Probably beats the hell out of driving. the Tesla district. Feels like it's got down to like the, the mid 30s. It is pretty cold and slightly windy.
So Bishop has just under 4,000 people and it's just over 4,000 feet in elevation. It's the only incorporated city in the county of Inyo. Inyo County is a very sparsely populated county. There's quite a few counties up here that only have a couple thousand people. So it is really easy to be immersed in a different world when you're in one of these little tiny jurisdictions that are decisively removed from the urban areas of California. So it's Monday night and the wind chill is about 26 degrees. It's an old motel. There's a lot of motels around here. It's weird how when I was a kid, I hated these types of motels. I don't know how I feel about them now. I guess if it's clean. This is probably gonna turn out pitch black. It's a full moon tonight. You can hear every goddamn step. You can hear people's, uh, when they put their keys in the ignition. It's so weird. Where I live, you can talk to yourself all day and no one would ever know because they could never hear you. Drains to the ocean. Oh, drains to the river. Yeah, I was about to say, we're in the Great Basin. Nothing drains to the ocean here. I assume this is safe to do. I mean, I don't hear of a lot of crimes up here, but you never know. Alfalfa. One thing I noticed up here since my trip to the Imperial Valley was they, they definitely grow a lot of alfalfa out here. And that makes sense because, well, in recent times, there's been uh, every once in a while, you see the LEDWP. It's like, it's like a occupying force up here. And I noticed the LA aqueduct is much smaller than the, the California aqueduct, I mean, as far as volume, at least as far as I could tell. It seemed to be a lot narrower. But that's the original one from, I think it was 1913. They took the water from here. If you see the movie Chinatown, of irate citizens when they find out that they're paying for water that they're not going to get. Oh, that's all taken care of. See, Mr. Gibbs, either you bring the water to L.A. or you bring L.A. to the water. How are you going to do that? By incorporating the valley into the city. Simple as that. And I always wonder, like, what do they need all that water for up here? And it's like, aha, alfalfa. Alfalfa is like the, the cash crop, but it, it's very thirsty. It's one of the reasons why we don't have enough water.
there's really nothing to do. It's only like 9.45. It's not like it's the middle of the night or anything, but it feels like it. That store will let me bring my dogs in and get a beer. No dogs allowed. There's like four people in there. Okay, that makes sense. I was having, I was kind of tripping out because there's Teslas everywhere. It's like, every there's goddamn Teslas and they're just driving around and I get it now. Everyone's trying to find the Tesla supercharger station. And there's a, a really cold breeze coming from the west. I was hoping to be able to see the mountains, but I think there's a little too much light pollution right here. But there's, uh, there's about 30 miles of ice that the wind is blowing off the ocean and over the top of that mountain. And it's gotten really cold. So coin flip on Mono Lake tomorrow. So we'll head up towards Mammoth. And if the roads close, we're just gonna bail. Cause we're going to Tonopah next. And Tonopah is not that far. I think it's just over hundred miles. So I wanted to take the scenic route. And it's gonna be cold. So I've gotta remember that wherever we go, we're basically just gonna freeze our butt off and get back in the car. You tend to not want to hang out outdoors for too long. So back to the Holiday Inn Express and watch some TV. It's funny, it's the same local channels as LA. No electricity. Well, good morning from Bishop, California. It is just below freezing. You know, sometimes you go to bed in a place and you wonder, what the hell am I doing here? And then you wake up in the morning and you go, oh, that's why. The scenery here is absolutely spectacular. Last night when I went for a walk, it was really neat. There was a full moon and you could see the silhouette of the mountains, but I don't think it came out on camera. If you're from Colorado or something like that, or the Cascades or, you know, this is just normal, normal scenery, but 
in this Southern California, we get snow-capped mountains in the distance, but very seldom do we get a scene like that. So it's not only a shame, that's a, damn, that's a shame. I was really looking forward to getting some bread that you can easily make a meal out of, some bread and some cold cuts for the road. And it's closed, and not only is it closed, but the police around here are like, but the power went out, we lost our bakery. Thankfully I had my stuff charged in time. little creek that runs through town. Another hotel, looks like it's got a better view than mine. So one little accident in town, power goes out, nothing to do. I guess we'll just hit the road and see what's up next. All right, so 41 bucks so far today. I was looking forward to taking the scenic route. I wanted to see Mono Lake, which is uh, one of my favorite things to partake in in the winter time. But we'll see what happens. We'll probably, uh, my, my spidey senses are telling me that I will end up in Mammoth and we'll hit the chain control and we'll promptly turn around, but you never know. This is the drive through. Thank you for choosing Carl Jr. Anything else? And that's all. 1004, I think that's it. Thank you. Hi. Take us to the good stuff. You want some pig's ears? What's that? You want it? Should I get it? So this is uh, the first and last glimpse of Mammoth. Time to go someplace else.
Uh, we won't be headed north to Mono Lake, so we'll just scratch that off our journey and we'll have to find someplace else. So now we're going to head back to Bishop and then go back to Tonopah.